Hi, my name is Garrett, working on a martial arts combat and exploration game called Strong by 3. I worked on the character movement as well as some shaders with the skybox and the player. I said in one of my previous devlogs that I like coding features, not so much systems, and it's true still for the most part, except with the player movement. Because this is a combat game, you know, combat's at least probably going to be the focus, but still, movement plays a big part, like the Assassin's Creed games, like they wouldn't be as great as they are without good movement. And, you know, using the game kit and like other Unity assets is great, but one of the problems I have is that they work great out of the box, but if I want to change it, it's very hard for me to do that. So what I ended up doing is trying out a few different tutorials, trying to find a decent movement system, and I think I found one so far that I like. Uh, the good thing being is that since I filed on and coded it with um, the guy who made the tutorial, I understand it a little bit better, and I can sort of adapt it for my game, if I want to add different stuff, I can more easily take stuff from other tutorials and combine it together to, to get something that I feel works. Yeah, it's going to take more time, it's kind of a step back, but at least I'm learning about Uni's new movement system, or rather input system, um, and I feel like it'll just, just be better for the end product, at least I hope. I've been playing Valheim with some friends recently, and one of the things I really like is actually the skybox. Uh, so what I did with mine is I got really inspired to work on it, so I ended up just adding a bunch more stars, which really looks pretty cool. Um, as well, just playing around with the nebula again. Um, you know, I, I want to get this sort of unique look to it, but not be so, you know, in your face, because it is a you know, skybox. It shouldn't be, you know, so, um, I guess so, so much of the main focus, um, especially just how the environment's laid out right now. Um, so I ended up playing around with that. And with that, I sort of, testing out different colors again. Um, I'm thinking, at least right now, it changes, uh, that blue is gonna be the main character. I've been pretty set in that. And then either purple or orange for the enemies, and then whatever color I don't use, that would be for the environment. Um, so you can see I've been also playing around with the shader uh, with the player because I've been using the Y bot uh, for Mixamo and I wanted to give it more of a unique look. So I was working on that and with the uh, with like the environment and the colors and everything and the nebulas, I was just playing around, giving them different looks and trying to get something that's that's somewhat unique. And this process is somewhat messy because I can't do, I can't draw a concept art. So I ended up just doing my, my concept art actually you know, in the engine. Uh, so I'm just playing around with different materials, kind of just playing around with shader graph and seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, so stuff ends up being scrapped a lot of the times, but I think I'm ending up with somewhat of a unique looking game, which is kind of what I want. Um, and it's also, I just find it fun to use Shader Graph too. So if you'd like to know more, you can head on over to Discord. I think I'm going to try to hold myself accountable to this, but I think I'm going to start doing like Daniel Lochner does, is like previews every week, or at least for me, I'm going to do try to do every week. Um, one, one to just keep the habit of working on the game consistently, um, but also to, you know, show off some of the stuff I'm working on uh, sooner for those that are in the Discord. So thank you for watching. I love you forever and I'm coming back next month.